This is a Zeiss Axial Scope 2 upright fluorescence microscope. We've configured it with a 100 watt HBO Mercury. This is the power supply. This is the lamp housing. And this is the cord that connects the two. And we've con configured it with a 100 watt halogen bottom transmitted light. So this is the epifluorescence reflected. This is the bottom transmitted. Bottom transmitted. You've also got the frosted diffuser filter. You're normally going to want that in place. Now the neutral density filters are good because if you want to decrease the intensity of the light while maintaining your color temperature, then you use the, the neutral density filters. You can use them in combination as well. And you can also turn down the intensity, however, that changes the color temperature of the light. For example, you may want 3200K, that's good. You can press this button and it goes all the way up, the readout, LED readout, and, and that's good for a daylight, a true daylight colors. Now we've got a condenser, a universal condenser. This condenser, here's the rack and pinion for it. You've got a field iris diaphragm. This is what you're going to use for setting your Kohler. You've got filter holders on the bottom. I do see a daylight blue filter. Looks like that's the only one. You've got condenser centering knobs right here. You're going to center this to get it in color, proper color illumination. And you have a flip out top lens. I'll rack the condenser down. Maybe you can see that top lens engaging and dis disengaging. There it's, it's engaging, there it's disengaging. When you're, using a, when you're using a low power objective like a 5X or a 2.5X, definitely for a 2.5X, you've got to disengage that top lens. The others, you want to engage it. Now we've got various settings on this condenser. For one thing, this, this microscope is upgradable to DIC if you want to add it. Just let us know. But we don't have the DIC prisms in it at the moment. But there is a spot for the DI prism, number one. And we've got a phase number one. And we've got a dark field setting. We've got a, here's a DIC three, Roman numeral three. Here's a phase three. DIC Roman numeral two. And a phase two. And back to your bright field. So various settings on the condenser. Make sure you match those with your objective. If you're doing phase, then you're gonna need 1.5 millimeter hex allen heads to center your phase. They start here and one on the opposite side. You're going to use a phase telescope. These come in a little variety. Take out an eyepiece, insert the phase telescope, and be sure to focus it like this until you can see the phase rings. You're going to line those up in the back aperture of the phase objective with the annulus and the condenser. Not all these objectives are phase, you'll have to look. Depends on how we configure them too. We can configure this however you may want. Here's a 40X, it's phase two. Here's a 10X phase one. It's got the green lettering and it. it actually says that it's a phase. So in this case, you're gonna want, this, since this says phase two on it, there's a PH2 on this 40X. So you're gonna to wanna to turn that to the, the number two button. Right there. This is the right hand stage, X and Y movement. 
you got readouts. You got readouts on the top of the stage too to see the distances that you're traveling. We do have a, a nice UV protector filter shield on the front. You can also take this out if you don't like it. It's good to protect your eyes from extraneous reflected UV that may be hitting your, your specimen when you're doing fluorescence. It's only, it's only a concern for fluorescence. So we've talked quite a bit about the transmitted light with the halogen in the back transmitting through several neutral density filters going through field iris diaphragm, going through some flip out filters, condenser into your specimen on through into your optics and eye pieces. Now let's take a look at the back, but this upper, this upper is a 100 watt HBO mercury has a mercury bulb inside and this unit does have a viewing aid on it this is for centering your arc when you pull it out you can you can actually see the arc there's a mirror where it goes to the side and you can look in and see this arc and you can use your adjustments three millimeter hex on these five openings and you can also use your collector lens to get everything in focus. So the lamp housing, viewing aid, you're going to want to push that in after you've centered the arc. You have the aperture stop and the field stop. These are iris diaphragms. Field stop is going to constrict the diameter of your light that enters the objective. That's going to help reduce the amount of extraneous light and increase the contrast, the viewing contrast. You also have filter, slide in filter, and you have your filter cubes. We can put on whatever filter cubes you may want. Just let us know what your needs are. To access them, you just take off this cover. This is how you rotate them. Rotate them. You have a total of five cubes that can be held in this microscope. Some of these microscopes only hold four. This particular one does hold five. Your head is a two-position head. You pull it all the way out. For 100% light to the camera, you push it in, 100% of the light to the eyepieces. This is an ergonomic head, so if a person is not quite so tall, they may want to adjust this down. If you're a little taller, you're probably going to want this higher. It may seem like a simple thing, but when you're sitting at a microscope for many hours in a day, it's, it's very helpful to get the right ergonomics helps a lot with the back and neck strain. So the 100 watt HBO mercury power supply, this is the cord. Simply line up the little notch with the notch here, push it in and rotate it. This particular one is a auto volt. Got a reset button you can you can press a small pin inside to reset it to zero again this is a Zeiss axioscope 2 upright plus microscope fluorescence microscope set up for bright field dark field phase contrast in fluorescence microscopy. If you like this microscope or if you'd like to change any features about it, please contact us. We've got a wide variety of this type of equipment. Thank you.